So today I'm going to show you how to catch your floats when knitting Continental. Um, I'm going to show you several different ways to do it because there are several different methods, I guess, not methods, but it's the same method. It's just sometimes you knit Continental, sometimes you need to grab your, you need to catch your float that from the yarn that's in the left hand. Sometimes you need to catch your float that's for the yarn in the right hand. Sometimes you are purling and sometimes you are knitting English. So I'm going to try and show you all of those different methods in this video. The first method I'm going to show you is catching the the float for the yarn in your right hand, which some feel that is probably the most difficult, maybe not the most difficult, but there's extra movement. And so here I'm going to show you how to do that. What you're going to do is as if you're knitting, because right now, as you can see, um, I am knitting stripes of the different colors. And I'm not doing any kind of fair isle here. I'm just carrying the other yarn across so that when I get to the other side, I have that yarn to work for the other, coming back the other way. So all I'm doing is I'm going to carry this black yarn all the way across this particular row. So to do that, I need to put my, ne my needle into the stitch. I want to wrap the black yarn around my needle just to kind of put it there for a second. This is, I'm just catching this yarn, but this is part of the process. So you wrap it as if you're going to do this knit stitch. You wrap the other yarn as if you're going to do the knit stitch. And then you unwrap the black yarn and then you knit the blue stitch. And again, I'll show you that again. I'm going to just knit a couple of stitches. Okay, so here I'll show you again. You stick your yarn in, you wrap the yarn as if you're going to knit it, you wrap the other yarn, and then you unwrap the first yarn, and then you knit the stitch. And that is carrying the black yarn across. Okay, so I'll do it, I'll show you again. And I'm catching my floats every three stitches. Um, and that's that's the general practice every three stitches. You can catch them less often or more often. However, if you catch your floats more often, you may find that if the knitted fabric is a little bit more, doesn't have as much give. So keep that in mind when you're carrying floats and, and how often you catch them. Again, to catch, we're still working with this one, catching this yarn. We're going to stick it in, stick the needle in the stitch as if we're going to knit it. We're going to wrap the black yarn as if we're going to knit it. We're going to wrap the blue yarn as if we're going to knit it. We're going to take the other one off and then we're going to knit that blue, that blue stitch. And I'll show you again, all the way across. So again, wrap the stitch, wrap the blue, pull it back around, and knit it. Knit a couple more blue. And this really isn't a blue, it's more like a, a bluish gray, but I'm calling it blue. Okay, so here we go again. Wrap it around, wrap the other one, wrap this one back, and knit it. And here we go again wrap it around, wrap this one, wrap it back. And the reason why a lot of people think that this is a more labor intensive is because you're wrapping and wrapping back. So here we'll catch it one more time before the end of the row. Here at the end. So we'll wrap it around, we'll wrap the other stitch, and we wrap it back and then pull it through. So there you have it. That is Knitting Continental catching the yarn that's in your right hand. Okay, now we're going to purl back across and this time we're going to catch the, the yarn that's in our left hand. Okay, because we're working with the black yarn and how you're going to do that, this is an easier, it's even easier than um, catching the one in your right hand.
So you're going to stick the needle in as if to purl. You're kind of just going to lay that yarn across the needle there. You're going to, and then you're going to purl it. And then you're just going to kind of, and purling is hard for me, continental, but I can I can do it. It's 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 harder for me, especially when I'm doing color work and I'm just carrying the float. Okay, here we go again. We're going to this is the yarn we're going to carry, but we're going to just stick the needle in, just kind of lay it across the needle. So you're you're laying it across. Wrap the stitch and purl it. I'm sorry I have to keep adjusting that that yarn, but it keeps loosening up on me. Okay, so here we go again. Stick the needle in. Again, we're just going to lay it across, wrap the needle, and then purl it. So you can see the blue yarn is being carried as we go across. So again, let me purl a few more stitches. And here we go again, stick the needle in, lay it across the needle, wrap it, and purl. And when you, when you um, purl that stitch, you're just catching that black yarn. The, um, the blue yarn isn't going around your needle, it's just being laid across the needle. So again, there's the there's the stitch. Lay the the yarn across the needle. Wrap it. And I'm trying to do this while I'm looking at the camera. Again, let me go back. So we're gonna lay the bl the blue yarn across. We're gonna wrap the black and pull it through. And you're not getting the blue yarn in the front. You're just getting the black yarn. So let me do a few more stitches and we will do it one more time. So here we go. Put this needle in, lay the yarn across the needle, hook the black yarn across and pull it through. And that's all there is to purling and catching the yarn that's in your left hand. Okay, so now I've switched the yarn. I have the blue yarn in my right hand and the black yarn in my left hand. Sorry about that, I bumped the camera. And this time I'm going to knit across continental style and I'm going to carry the float that's in my left hand. Yep, the first time I carried it from my right hand. So, and again, just like it is when I was purling and I was carrying the yarn in my left hand, this is a very simple process. You're going to stick your needle in. Now, this is what's different. Instead of wrapping it around like you're going to knit it, you're going to wrap it around, just going to kind of lay it over the back of the needle, okay? Kind of like this. This is how you would knit it, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to just lay it over the back of the needle. We're going to kind of come around this way. Grab the blue and then knit it. And that catches that black yarn. Okay, so here I will show you again. Again, stick the yarn in or stick the needle in the stitch, lay the black yarn over the the needle, grab the blue yarn and knit the blue stitch. And that picks up the black. Okay, so here we go again. The needle goes into the stitch, lay that black yarn over the needle, grab the blue and knit it. you can see the black yarn is being carried. 
Let me show you again. Let me knit one more. Stick the needle in, wrap it, not wrap it, but kind of lay it over the needle, grab the blue yarn and knit. Oops. Okay, one more time. Stick the needle in, lay that yarn over top, wrap the blue, and knit the blue stitch. I'll do it twice more here. Needle goes in, lay the yarn over, wrap it, and knit. And I'll do it one more time just so that the black yarn's at the end. Needle in, oops, wrap it around, not wrap it, I'm sorry, don't wrap it around. I keep saying wrap it around, but that's not what I want you to do. I want you to just lay that yarn over top of the needle. Wrap the blue and knit it. And that is how you catch your yarn in a continental style with, that's in your left hand. Okay, the next one is one that I have quite a struggle with. This is purling when I'm carrying the, the, the yarn in my right hand. So this one, I like I said, I struggle with. What you're gonna do is you're going to lay the yarn, just like you did before, lay the yarn, wrap it, and then bring that yarn back so you're only pulling through a black stitch. It works the same as if you are doing it on the front where you have to um, pull it over and then bring it back. So we're laying it over the needle, we're wrapping the stitch, and then we're bringing it back. So it kind of, you can see there how it's kind of wrapping around that stitch. Okay, so here we go again. And you have to make sure that the, the yarn on your, in your left hand is down before you put your stitch in, but pour, before you put your needle in your stitch. So you're coming around the back, you're not wrapping the stitch, but you're, or not wrapping the needle, you're just kind of laying it there. You're going to wrap the black, and then you're going to take the blue back off, just like that. And obviously when you're carrying your floats, I haven't been too careful as I've been recording this to keep my floats loose. So you want to be careful to make sure that you don't pull your float too tight. Um, okay, so here we go again. The needle in, lay it over, wrap the black, bring this one back, and then knit, purl that stitch. Okay. One more time, lay it over, wrap the black yarn, bring the blue back around, just like that. Again, lay the blue, wrap the black, bring the blue back around. And one more time, lay the blue, wrap the black, bring the blue back around. And that is purling continental, carrying the yarn in your right hand. Okay, now I'm going to show you English style working with two yarns on the same side. It's going to be very much like when we were doing continental and having to catch the yarn that was in our right hand. So except we're just going to have to keep dropping and picking up the, the yarn. So we want to catch the black yarn across this row. So we're going to stick the yarn in, the needle in the, the um, stitch. We're going to wrap this black yarn around the needle. I'm sorry, not around the needle. We're going to lay it over the needle. I'm just going to 
hold it there with my finger for a minute. We're going to wrap the blue yarn and then we're going to bring that black yarn back around like that. And then we're going to knit across. Okay, so we're going to do it again. We're going to stick the needle, needle in, bring that black yarn, just kind of tag it there for a minute with your finger, wrap the blue yarn, and then bring the bl black yarn back around. You see it's kind of twisted there around the blue, and then we're going to knit that black, that or that blue stitch again. And it's, you see it's caught up in that blue now. Okay, here we go again. We're going to stick the needle in. We're going to pick up the black, hold it there for a second, wrap the blue, bring the black back around, and knit the blue. It's that simple. So here we go again. And you can see the black is being carried across. It's right here. We're going to lay the black across the needle, wrap the blue, bring the black back. Might help if I, <laughs> here, let's go back. Pull that back off. I'm getting too far away from the end of my ball. Wrap the black, then wrap the blue, and then lift that black off and knit that blue stitch. And it is it is catching. You see how the next time I knit the blue stitch, it's going to be caught. That black is caught up in there. Okay, here we, we're going to do it again. Lay the black across, wrap the blue, bring the black back across, and it does, it is caught up in that blue, so then you're going to knit the blue. And we'll do it one last time here at the end. Lay it over, wrap the blue, bring that black back across, and knit. And that is knitting English style and carrying your float. Okay, so this is purling English style, keeping both yarns on the right hand side and keeping them from twisting. The first time I recorded this segment, I had a brain freeze and I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. But as I watched the segment back, I figured it out. So I'm going to show it to you now. So we're going to be knitting with the black and we're going to carry the blue yarn. And what you're going to do is just like when you were knitting it, you're going to wrap it around. This time you are actually wrapping it around as if you're going to purl the stitch. You're going to wrap the black and then you're going to unwrap the blue. Okay? And then you're going to, I'm sorry, it might help if I put the needle in the stitch first. So before you wrap it, you're going to put the needle in the stitch, wrap Wrap the blue as if you're going to purl it. Wrap the black as if you're going to purl it. And then unwrap the blue. And then purl that stitch. And again, knitting English doing Fair Isle is a lot more fiddly than it is to do Continental. But it is possible to do it. Again, keeping the black up to the top, which is the color that we're knitting with, and the blue is at the bottom. We're going to wrap the blue as if to purl it. We're going to wrap the black as if to purl it. We're going to unwrap the blue, and then we're going to purl the black stitch. And again, you can see that the float, the float here is a little bit loose, so I can just snug it, pull it a little bit, and snug that up. 
Okay, so here we go again. Stick the needle in the stitch, wrap the blue stitch, wrap the blue yarn around the needle, wrap the black around the needle, and then unwrap the blue. And here it is again. Stick the needle in, wrap the blue around the needle, wrap the black around the needle, and unwrap the blue. And you can see right there that the black is wrapped around that blue to catch it up in there. So again, wrap the blue, wrap the black, unwrap the blue. And always bring that blue back down so that it's back in its original position. Let's do it one more time. So stick the, yarn, the needle in, wrap the needle, wrap it with the black, unwrap the blue, and knit. I'm sorry, purl. And one last time, stick the needle in the stitch, wrap and wrap, and then unwrap. And purl. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was very helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, you can, re you can reach me on Ravelry. I am Blooming Knitter, or you could also reach me on the blog, which is bloomingknitter.wordpress.com.